May Weekly with champion Jamie Varner. Uh, just two days away from your fight. Uh, you've been, uh, you know, recovering, getting well from your last fight. I mean, just, you know, a brutal fight. I mean, rough one. tell us how hard it's been, you know, being out of the game and, and, you know, and getting ready and prepared for this fight. Um, I guess the first first couple of months were pretty difficult for me as far as getting prepared. Um, I started at ground zero. I, I had eight months where I really wasn't able to do anything um, as far as training goes because my hand, I couldn't sweat. I had pins sticking out my hand. So I couldn't sweat, couldn't do anything active. Couldn't even go for walks. Like, it was it was bad. Um, so I had to start at ground zero. So the beginning of the training camp was hard, but now I feel great, man. It's uh, it, I got, like, refreshed, like, re-energized. It, it was awesome having, having that break. Definitely gave my, my my mind and my body a break from fighting and I did get to start over fresh I feel good feel confident and I'm just ready to rock I mean how how much uh, does that help uh, your game after going through such a battle and you know the tribulations and the injuries and still coming out on top well I just don't see how it can get any worse you know I, I, I you, you go through a fight like that you break your hand break your foot you got the lesion in my eye how does how does it get any worse and I still won so um, you know you can only go up from there and to know that I can go through that and still find a way to win I, it adds confidence going through this fight for sure for sure now you mentioned you know uh, do you have any, uh, re I mean, not reservations, but, I mean, how do you feel about fighting a guy that has the interim belt? You went through uh, many uh, fights to get to, you know, the championship. Do you think the interim belt is an illegitimate type of thing or just part of the story since you weren't able to fight? I think it's definitely part of the story, but um, the significance, like I said earlier in the press conference, isn't the same as, like, what I had to fight for, the real belt. And, um, you know... I think the interim belt is more like a trophy. You know, Don Cerrone and uh, Ben Henderson had a great fight. Ben won. He deserves something for that fight, not just a paycheck. So he got the belt, he got a trophy, but it's not the meaning, the significance isn't the same. Does it put more pressure on you, you having the belt and him having the interim belt? No, I put pressure on myself, and there's pressure going into every fight. Being a world champion and knowing that these guys want what you have, there's pressure going, pressure going into every fight. And then also with the performance I had in my last fight, um, I, it, it's extra added pressure as well. I got to go out here, I got to prove why I'm the WC lightweight champion and I got to show everybody that I'm still the man and I'm here so uh, what have you what have you improved have you reinvented yourself during this time at all or just a touch to refine anything I, I made everything a little bit better I, I think everything got a little bit better this fight um, I made some serious improvements in my kickboxing so I'm really looking to showcase some of my kickboxing skills um, but other than that, I mean, I'm still Jamie Varner. I'm, I gotta stick to the things that made me who I am, and that's just being, being strong, being fast, being tenacious, and having good boxing, good wrestling. Anything you want to say to your fans? Hey, just don't blink. Fight's gonna be over real soon.